What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Ron and this is MotorTube. If you're stopping by for the first time, smash that subscribe button, turn your notification bell on to stay up to date with my videos and be part of the family. So today we got another cool video. So I'm headed to Lidio's right now. If you guys don't know who Lidio is, he is the owner of Alternative Performance Auto. So basically that's who works on my cars. So my car is going in anytime soon. I think from when this video drops, they're probably going in two days or so. So I'm gonna go, he just ordered me two intakes. I'm getting the JLT intake on this car and on that car so that my Hellcat has a stock airbox um, just because it, it made more sense to have that because because the leg maker and all the other ones, they do put down the power but they make the car run a little bit hot and also it, it doesn't really do anything on the track. So this JLT has been proven by Lidio that it does something and, and and I heard it on a subscriber's Hellcat and it sounds amazing so that you know the sound is definitely there and I don't really care for the sound but if, if the sound is, is there that's a plus so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna hop in the Hellcat I'm proud of myself I've been driving the Hellcat a lot more lately so <laughs> your comments about I don't drive it and this and that um I definitely took it to heart <laughs> and that's why I've been driving it a lot more so now we're gonna hop in turn it on and go have a beautiful day Woo! Got here. It looks really good. Guys, so this track hog got lowered how, how many inches? About two and a half, I think. This is good. The wheel gap isn't as bad. Yeah, I like it. And from the front, the same? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's a four piece side box, right? Yeah, let's, let's, I want to see the air box. I've never seen it. Yeah, this is all stock here. It's actually successful. This track hog is fully stock, by the way. Uh, okay. This is tough to improve on. That's a really good air box from the factory. Really? Does it, like, is it, it's not like the Hellcat one where it goes through any no, vents or I does it? most of the air is comes it from chilling? down there somewhere, yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, if it, it, I mean, I had my stock air box for a long time and it my does just fine. Nines with it, no problem. Yeah, so sometimes. GLT's not really, a, it's an improvement, but not a huge improvement. Yeah, but I love the, the, the sound. Yeah. I was not expecting when I drove Sean's car. I'm right, like, what right. is going on? Yeah. Wow. Hey, beautiful. Look at this bad boy. Whipple. Videos 5.0. And then his Hellcat. He's taking this thing to the track. This thing is like a nine second 5.0. We'll see how it does tomorrow. I'll be there as well with my Mustang. Try to break my time. <laughs> Try to go faster than 12.3. So we'll see how that goes. We also got a vet here. I don't know if this is a wrap or that it's an actual carbon fiber hood. Seems like it's a carbon fiber hood. And then I think it has the trunk as well. Doesn't seem like a wrap. Uh, it could be a wrap, but this thing is. Check out the tail lights though. It's kind of cool how they're blacked out and then that little oval is not. It's nice. Alright guys, so I wasn't expecting this, but um, he did order the intakes, but he has something in stock, so he's just going to give me them, and all I'm doing now is the Hellcat. I'm going to put it on the Hellcat, but before I do that, I got to go fill the car up with race fuel before I throw in a dyno. You guys will see my Hellcat on the dyno, so I know a lot of you guys have been trying to see. I don't know if I will show you guys the numbers. I don't really show much about the Hellcat, but I'm about to put some racing fuel in there, and then come back, and we're going to put the intake on, and hopefully it makes good power. All right. Guys, just put some fuel and we're ready to go. And by the way, I am tuned for race fuel, so I don't want people to start tripping out. So we're about to go and get the, uh, the intake and whatever uh, installed, and then we're going to dyno it. Getting all the trash out of the way. Man. All this. This. All going in there. About to get the Hellcat on here. It'll... This camera does such a bad shot job of showing how loud this car is. But those who know me in person, and I get a lot of people that snap me, are like, yo, your car is so loud. Got it in here. 
so the tires are on 18 or 19 psi just because I put them down when I'm racing so now they're gonna pump them up just because so they don't get messed up on the dyno this is what's in there now that it maintains the ram air. Oh yeah. You know? Like from the from the headlight, right? Yep. They call mm -hmm. they call this it ram air? Thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I always wonder why they call it that. This whole piece seals against the bottom of the hood. Okay. Cool. Getting the intake in there, it's looking good. Still needs to get bolted on, but Man, I can't wait for you guys to hear this. All right, so we're taking this off. We're just we're gonna leave it on, but we're gonna okay. sandwich this piece of plexiglass in between. And that is he, uh, Lydia explained it to me, so yep. you're gonna have to explain it as well to them. I got you. Uh, it pretty much just keeps water from coming into the airbox and keeps air from escaping the airbox. Here, so the so the the ram uh, the ram air forces still works. everything in the bottom. Right, and you don't want it to go out. Exactly. Okay. And then so this that's is going to seal on the hood, and then where this vent would let it out, this plexiglass piece will keep most of it from escaping. Okay. And then this little rubber insulator goes on there to keep it from making any noise. Hmm, that's clever. Yeah, we pretty much like designed this with them. Yeah, Zach made one me. out of cardboard and we made it work for a while and then they eventually sent us a real one. So. Nice. As you guys can see, it's clear, so you can't even see it being there. And then you just put the screws that were already there. Then. Yep. Is that what that tool is really for? Nope. Oh, I was going to say, that would be funny if they made a tool just for something like that. Right. No, this is for, it's like breaking the seal on a radiator hose. Mm. That's it? Yeah. And then you just turn it. all set. Alright. We're looking good. Can't even see it. Can't even tell it's there. And now it's gonna get tuned and put on the dyno for it. So tomorrow we're taking the Mustang to the track. Um, also his 5.0 is going there. So I'm very excited about that. And uh, that's probably my last time at the track while my Mustang is fully stocked. So um, yeah, I'm just waiting for the Hellcat to get done and we'll be on our way. And I can't wait to show you guys. The only thing is all the pulls that I do on the channel, I can't hook. Um, for the life of me, I just can't. Even from a 40 roll, it, it, like if you guys could tell when I'm doing it, it literally like lags. It goes 40 and it lags to at like 50, and it goes again and it lags because it's just spinning a whole way. And, and I had a friend the other day, like behind me, he's like, "Man, you're just leaving streaks," and that's on 315s drag radials. So I don't know what to do. So I, I don't want to run my 17 setup all the time just because those Mickey's wear out really fast. So. I don't know, I, these are the best tires that I could possibly get. They're like literally like $750 and they still can't hook. So the Hellcat is on the dyno right now, so let's go to the dyno. About to hop on the dyno.
so we're all done. We're about to take the Hellcat off and get going. I've had such a long day. I feel like I've been here all day long. All right, we're leaving. Yo, what's wrong with my camera's focus? All right. All right, guys. So, if you guys want to take any car to Lydio, guys, he's the man. No matter what car it is, I'm going to leave his info and his email. If you hit up his email, he like most people when you email them, they take like two days to respond. He will literally email you back in the same day within literally like an hour. So he does everything out of his phone. So it's much easier to get in contact with him. So hit him up if you need anything. I'll leave it in the description below. So he's the best in the business. The only guy I'll trust to touch any of my cars. So make sure you hit him up. So we're back home. I'm about to wash the Hellcat. You guys have already seen me wash it, so there's no point of me showing you guys washing the Hellcat over and over and over. So I'm gonna end the video here. Um, had a long day, honestly. It's been like I've literally been driving all day, been in traffic all day. I can't stand traffic, so I know it's even worse in other states, but um, yeah, I still can't deal with that. But anyways, um, we got the you know Hellcat all done. Um, now uh, the Mustang goes in and. Probably like two days from when this video drops. I'm not sure when this video is going to drop. Um, so, yeah. I can, I'm very excited about the Mustang. The Mustang is an open build on this channel. So, everything inside and out that car, you guys will be notified of that and know everything about that car. So, anyways, I'm going to let you guys go. If you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Turn your notification bell on to stay up to date with my videos. And be part of this beautiful beautiful family. I will see you guys next video. Have tons of great content coming up for you guys. Have a beautiful day and stay positive. Peace.